Jaka Ya hospitality, Jaka chef, more pay, woman on country, deflecting some bye bye. Empalena hotel and Lamatata Ruiz in Tata, Carson Lichelet, Hotel and Tutu Sahara, Lichunutam Savis, City Take a Salang, Empavela Arena, Ota Hotel, Ota Sola Pili, Kerta Muchakela, Arasule, Ridge, Atacanita Mogabutalo, Arthur, Santa Santa Upuna Alegai, Armon. My name is Sima Mkele, and I'm 23 years old. When he was born, we didn't know that he was dead. Since I saw him, he said, I'm going to die. I cast a stain. I didn't know that he was dead. I didn't know that he was dead. I think when he was about two years, my mother informed us that she noticed something very strange about him, that when she speaks to him, he doesn't respond. But when she speaks to him, and when they are looking at each other, then he will just go and take whatever my mother is asking him to go and fetch. It was a very difficult time for me and my family because number one, I was very young and it was my first child, and now to get news like this, it was, it was very, very shocking for me. Ukinina ya iyo otwa yona. Tisuka na ye emtata, kuleiti ubeta koma ngobo. Kuleiti ndaza kufika, ito fimfa ba ngo naini. Funeka nti mbambe nge santla, akazivu izi ngeza mko ba kumnyama ngo ko. Kwa funa asla di stube ngo ba kutika. Before I learned how to sign, it was difficult for me to communicate with my friends and family, and I was afraid to talk to people. However, I could talk a little, but it was not clear. I felt isolated and different from others because I couldn't understand them or talk to them. with my mother in the Eastern Cape. The school for the deaf was about 120 k's away from the village that uh, he was staying in. Wafunda ke efwata kodwa nsema. Di yange nyao, di yukche teni, kukuti teni. Kona lama tasha sepsika, begba nzima kakulu. The Ifata school was okay, but I used to cry a lot because it was a boarding school. Efata, we moved to PE, and then he was schooling at Rubin Birin. I learned how to sign when I went to Rubin Birin School for the Deaf in PE. I then moved from Rubin Birin to St. Vincent School for the Deaf in 2003. Because I was struggling to communicate with people, I had to move to a new school. 
we found out from Robin Pirin that there was a school called St. Vincent School in Johannesburg. And at the time, I was already working in PE, so I managed to get a transfer to come and work in Johannesburg. When I started at St. Vincent, I was very happy because I could communicate with other children very easily. I was happy to meet a friend called Cusello, who I had a lot of fun with, learning ABCs and improving on our sign language. The teachers at St. Vincent really helped a lot because they were more patient with me than at Ifata. The school really made me feel happy and excited. During my time at St. Vincent, I really enjoyed the cooking classes, so I asked if I could work and help out at the tuck shop. While working there, I learned how to make burgers, chips, sandwiches and hot dogs. I'm afraid of cooking at home because my mom says the kitchen is no place for a man. Sometimes even when I make something, then he will tell me, no, that's not how you make it. You must put this and that and that and that. So I don't want him near me in the kitchen. In 2013, St. Vincent took me to HTA College because I had an interest and I loved cooking. I learned a lot about cooking at HTA. It was hard work, but I got to learn how to cook different dishes. He can cook umrusho, he can cook umpokoko, which is putu. He can make lovely eggs, scramble eggs. That's not our tradition though, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Being deaf doesn't affect my cooking. I can still smell and I can still taste. Sometimes I do get others to taste my food. During my time at HGA, I found out about an internship at the Protea Hotel Group, and so I applied. I then got accepted and was placed at the Balalaika Hotel. Tomorrow I'm going to Balalaika for an interview to see if I can represent them in a cooking competition. He has made this family very proud and uh, we wish him all the best and we hope that he gets selected. When I was told I might be chosen to represent Balalaika in a cooking competition, I was very excited. It means one step closer to becoming a great chef.
I'm going in for my interview now. I'm feeling a bit nervous about the questions they're going to ask and about my answers. But having Nancy there does give me some confidence too because she'll be able to help me and interpret for me. Thank you. Good day, Simangile. Thank you very much. How Thank are you? Very you? Much I'm fine. Today. Thank you. Can you please explain to me why do you want to be a chef? Because I have a dream. Being a chef, for me, working, I enjoy working in the kitchen because my favorite is it's the kitchen. Yeah. He enjoys it. Okay, great. What is your favorite item to cook? My favorite is first a pork neck and pork belly and third pastry. I enjoy cooking it. Um, pork neck, tasty or it's tasty. Uh, tasty is nice, lots of flavor, salt and pepper, a little bit of oil. Oh, it's nice and soft. What is your favorite equipment to use in the kitchen and why? Yeah, your favorite equipment? I work with equipment, the kitchen, knives, um, and the chopping boards. Um, I like chopping small, 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 um, because you want to be a professional chef. Yeah, that's why. And okay. it's important, knife skills is perfect. Okay, great. Why do you think that you're the best person for the, for the job? Because the people help me, I have, I have the skill, I have the skill, yes, and knives, I've motivated, I, yeah, I'm a good chef, and um, you, you work hard, and uh, the motivation is there, you want to be up to the top and successful one day. Okay, great. Simon Kili, explain to me a strength of yours. Yeah, my strength for me is working hard, really hard. Um, and also, um, I feel really positive about, I have help from people. And that, that's important. It's important because people help you understand work in the kitchen and they help they they support you they support you yeah that's important it's important to help the people deaf people especially okay great over to you um Simon Kelly I want to ask you a question um, important in the competition for you why is important for you in, in the cooking competition. What's important for you? Why is it important for me? Mm. Mm. You, uh, you say in five years you want to be a professional chef. Will this help you move up the ladder in the competition? Explain why. Because I want to help uh, Chef Steven. He, he's a good chef. He helps me and he teaches me. He, he teaches me about working, he teaches me about vegetables, he teaches about different items, pork. It's perfect, it's professional. And teaching and learning, it's important as a chef to help you understand um, cooking um, and working in the hotel. And for, for deaf people um, to move up the ladder in, in the chef and in the hotel. You agree. Um, working at HTA, um, was it easy or difficult for you? Last year, I was, I was at HTA. It was easy. The work was a little bit difficult for food, food costing especially, and all the theory. It was easy, but the cooking I enjoyed, that I understand, and that helped. But the theory and the food costing, I had to try really hard. Oh. 
but um, for people who are deaf, um, working in a kitchen will be easy, but to understand the theory and the food costing is difficult. But with managers, they'll help you, and the chefs, they'll help people. Uh, and then it'll be easy, and then you move up the ladder. And I, in five years, you'll be up the ladder. Yeah, I agree. No more questions from me. Questions? Okay. Great. Thanks, Simakile. We're going to send you off to go and do three tasks. The purpose of the, star, the task is to evaluate the skills of the different chefs. The successful chef will be chosen to represent the Quote Hotel Vidalaika at the Cape Legends Inter Hotel Challenge. Thank you. After the first interview, I'm going to prepare to work in the kitchen for the competition. Thank you. Simankele uya iteba, usupa le rato le tabo kama sevitu wa hae. Uiganyo ba hae, lima ikemi sezo a hae, haatlo ke manzi. Rahona huipone la katevidiso ya meili. Mahaslasi, ba achaba pelangabu kuwa, hotata gore ba fumani musebezi. Simayena, ose afinye lezi ka kishining. Ukwe kisizo fosilimo, hona ajo oto leko la hor ana, onepa hezo hor akakene la competition. Uikemi sedize, ene ui joiti za raha ose sika mutibe lang, kicholu uitibe le heng haha. Hello, I'm a hustler. I'm a little bit of a chef. I'm going to get a senior certificate. I'm going to get a diploma. I'm going to get a degree. English is what I'm going to get. The course of the money is the money for the university, the FET, and the college. Haslas ke rgeo taba emo pepe neneng. Reba to isor how tsela ka botota bo itseng ba mmele. Bona lele training or skills development programs or mesebetsi e lezing ka yona o re nkile la ikenela. Ke ra gore tsenya dikarabo tsa lona go twitter le Facebook re tlo khona o thusa ba ba. E ka nna wena or motho mo o mutsi. Wa itse ba reng ka setswana. Motho ke motho ka batho a re thusa neng. My name is Steven Dale of Fountain Junior. Uh, I'm the executive sous chef for the Bull Run Restaurant, Bella Lake Hotel and Crown Courts. Uh, I've been in the hospitality industry for almost 12 years. Um, I have a master's degree in culinary arts and chef training. Let's just say I had other, other fields that I have actually practiced into. Okay. First thing we need to do is the pork. Get the pork on. Uh, just, you, just your basic oil. Remember what I said. You meet some blood, meet some blood after we after we braise it. Then we then we then we uh, put it in the oven for how many minutes? Thirty minutes. Okay. So start on start on your pork. Okay. All right. Test one he concerns about his mise en place for the entree itself. As you, as you saw today, there was different component for the pork neck. So each component consists of different items that he needs to prep for. That was task one. Always sweet. What can it be? Ke ra gore ke itse go tlakatlakane e re ke le fe di tlaka tse pedi tse le ka di tshusa gore le tse ka karabo which is the letter E and T. Ke tsa gore e tla khona go le thusa. Empa gona no ke re mo sweeto o tsola pele ga e duma ya sa maya. A ka re bona se mamkele a tsamisana le yena mentho ya gagwe Chef Steven ja ka ba di bere kulo. Si boga, si e si telele, a si botsa bo bogalo. Ke le shapa ka tsa shapa sa pa le mo gopola ke ra gore a ke re bone. Okay, once you start on, start on your mise en place, start on the pork, okay, all right. First, braise it, braise it. Okay. 
That's a good job. Make sure your heat's on high. I've worked with Simon Kelly for almost two years now. He's going on two years. Uh, I've taken I've taken sign language classes, uh, basic sign language classes. So our our language our language barrier, yeah, there are some bumps, but he teaches me along the way, and he understands where I'm coming from. Um, worst case scenario, I would have to get a piece of paper and pen, and I would I would I would write it out for him. Other than that, uh, we have we have absolutely no problem of when it comes to communicating with one another. The characteristics of a chef that I feel should acquire is the determination, the the, the mindset, the patience, um, willing to learn, willing willing to accept positive constructive criticism. Okay. Start your mise en place. Start your mise en place, or your mirepoix. Sorry, your mirepoix, mirepoix into the pots. And don't forget your water, okay? Before I start cooking, I first have to get my preparation done. I had to prepare the celery, onions, red cabbage by cleaning them and peeling them. The preparation included chopping up the celery, the onions and the cabbage. The first step I did was to cut the onions into small, thin cubes. The second thing I did was cut the fennel into small, thin slices. And then I took the cabbage and cut that into thin pieces. A little more oil. 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 For an individual like himself, being deaf, uh, entering in, into into a hotel like the hotel he's, he's employed at now, uh, where I'm from, it's very, very hard. The hotel has to be supportive of, of his disability and not hold it against him. Give him, give him that uh, ability, not ability, but a chance to prove to himself that he can do it. Task one was a bit difficult for me because I would forget sometimes. I would be busy chopping and then I would try to multitask to see if everything is fine. Part of task one was to prepare the pork. The pan was very hot. I had to braise it slowly and thereafter put it in the oven. There are many different ways to cook pork. You can cook it by boiling it, putting some oil and frying it in a pan to make sure it's soft and smooth. When it comes to a boil, you can then wrap it up and put it in the oven. Another way is to put oil in it and make it brown and then cut it into thin slices and put that in the oven. As soon as you take it out of the oven, you then place it into a pan and fry it for a bit. And this is what you call pulled pork. And pulled pork is very nice. The importance of experimenting, I mean, you would my, my instructors back home always told me, always told me, you know, enable, enable to learn about different types of foods and, and different ways of cooking and, 
different different ways of tasting different foods. It's just experimenting with certain types of foods. You know, you know it's, it's it's about it's about equal equal amounts equal amounts of parts. You know, when it comes to when it comes to cooking. You know, most most chefs these days, you know, they, they're they're giving mystery baskets. You know, and they 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 come up with with ideas. You know, you just gotta take your chance. I'm not saying strawberries would wouldn't go good with potatoes because it all depends how you prepare the strawberries and or how you prepare the potatoes. You know, chances are they do go good together. After removing the pork from the oven, I checked to see if it was cooked, and it was cooked perfectly. The last part of preparing my salad for this task was to add lemon juice. So what I did was just cut a lemon in half and uh, squeeze the juices out and just pour that onto my salad. I think I did well in this task. I did all my preparation correctly. So yeah, I think I did do well. <laughs> Okay, now task one is done, now we go on to task two, okay? We've got all our meats and plows for, our, for, for sauteing our red cabbage sauerkrauts. And we have our tail puree, it's cooling down, okay? Citrus glazed, so why don't we uh, start off by cooking off the red cabbage sauerkrauts, okay? Red cabbage sauerkrauts, okay? Task two was putting the components together. By putting components together, I teach them that you must start with the longest item first. When it comes to shortest item, quick items, that's the key word, it comes quick. So he has to start with the longest items first. Once he has that down packed and it has his timing down correctly, task three would come in and play. In task two, I had to take the red onion that I cut up and fry it in a hot pan. You have to fry it in a hot pan to saute it. I then took the red cabbage and I sauteed the red cabbage as well. I let that cool and then I added salt and pepper for taste. I then added the celery and I mixed up all the ingredients together. It is very important that you make sure all your ingredients are balanced. When tasting your food, you can taste and see if it is too much, and then you can add more or less to balance it. Make sure you taste everything to make sure everything is balanced. Make sure it tastes perfect. 
it is very important that you improve your standards. Here, here we are in the 21st century. I mean, you have a lot of a lot of a lot of culinary students who want to learn different things. I mean, knowledge is knowledge is is is, is out there. I mean, years ago it used to be old-fashioned, where where myself would 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 train and, and focus on a certain type of cooking. I myself like French cooking, you know, Mediterranean, Asian cooking. Now these days, it's all about infusing, infusing like Asian Asian infusion. Um, French with a little bit of uh, Mediterranean, you know, and so it's 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 it's, it's different now these days. That's Blonde Roux. That's a thickening agent. We are looking at a, this is a, this is a uh, French culinary sauce. It's called a apple cider boulette. Boulette meaning as, as creamy, using, using a Blonde Roux or, or fresh cream and or fresh cream. This sauce is actually going with our pork neck. Put it off to the side. I took some fresh cream and some milk and I poured that into a pan and let that boil. Once that was done boiling, I poured it into a blender with all my other ingredients and I blended it. I slowly let it mix and I put it aside and I let it sit. This is a citric glaze that has been reduced to almost like a syrup-like type substance. It's going on top. This is a red cabbage sauerkraut. Way is this going to be used? It's going on the bottom of the pork neck. And this is right now what we're making is a sweet potato and apple puree. This is going to be more of a on the side of the pork neck, which he will, which, which he will be presented to you. apprenticeship Test three, now it's the plating. Okay, eye visual. Test three is all about the presentation, it's all about the tasting, it's all about the tweaking here and there. As you can see, the plating is, it definitely still needs some work. Uh, presentation is definitely still needs some work, but the taste, the components, the, the combination of each item was there. And once it tastes right for him, then the rest is downhill. 
Silanga bel, hamandi kum. Kira lenta zile firi mile, mahaslas asor getala, baswa ke ramatek. Kira muna omo sesani, kena o kira ke jadaet. Mar today forget about the diet. Kija muna tiki samalena simamkele. Oh apa muna jalo al shapatas kaha he ya ma felelo. Al skolo onsa uchitela hona chef. Lina kaki zanza skolo dako wo jambling. Kili file E and T. Kira kile file kaka ya ma thom moli bitu lere le bata mbafetu, which is the letter D. Kira zanya ni kara basalona dako Twitter le Facebook le tega le bitu la si piri er le bata ng. Kira si piri ma kunut. Kira kile ma file kaho pe la rasul le file kaho pe ya emang babu. Bahaisho. Kila le kupa tswe, kupa lota se dama pobi le paleshi le tapa le kano runa harika papa zo rabo wa ishal. Cut the pork. Okay. We'll cut it halfway, four ways. Four slices. I should make it, make it three slices. Okay. Thank you. The first thing I did was place the red cabbage in the center of my plate. I then cut three thin slices of pork and placed that on top of the cabbage. Now you work. Remember when we practice? Visualize. It's on you. This on the bottom. For growth for Simon Kelly, again, I mean, he has a great, he has a golden opportunity. I mean, he's 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 gotten his foot in this hotel. He's he's actually he's actually you know he's 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 paying attention of the of the, of the finer details. He wants to learn. He has that craving to learn. He he's he's not a slacker. You know, he's 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 out there to give it it all. He's willing to do his homework and then some. I mean, if Simon Kelly, the way he, the, the rate he's going now, I, 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 I'm a, I, I'd be the first one to admit. He'd probably be a better chef than I will.
plating for me is very important. Your food has to look perfect. It has to look great. It's the first thing the customer sees, is how it looks before they taste it. Your food can taste great and be perfect, but if it doesn't look appealing, the customer might send it back. I feel very proud of myself today. I think I did very well. My food looked great and it tasted great. There are a couple components, or a couple components to the dish that needs that needs a little tweaking, a little tweaking. But practice makes perfect. I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day. So I mean, again, this is a big challenge for me by teaching a deaf person, and by teaching a deaf person and knowing what he knows now, I'm very proud of him. How's Simon Kille? How do you uh, uh, un, how do you feel the tasks went? Oh, I feel a little bit difficult cooking oh. pork, um, but I tried my I tried I cooked the pork neck. I tried the support 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 support. I think I've improved. I feel very proud of myself. Thank you. Okay, great. Before I give you the results, I've just got three last questions that I need to ask you. Who is your favorite celebrity chef and why? My favorite chef is Gordon Ramsay. He's a famous chef because he's always shouting at the people in the kitchen because they have um, all the, the details, they have to wash their hands, they always have to keep clean and neat and tidy. Um, also chopping has to be perfect, small little detail and they must be nice with their cooking and it must be nice, you must enjoy the food and you must enjoy cooking. Okay, which skills do you feel you still need to develop in order to get to the level where Gordon Ramsay is? Because the chef, he's got knowledge, he's always looking TV, um, he's always improving. I feel that I'm able to have the skills to be able to cook vegetables perfect, cook, uh, it's nice, it's perfect. Um, um, yeah, I, th I think I've got the skills to do that. Okay. Which challenges do you feel that you face in the kitchen working with hearing colleagues? Yes, I have a little bit of difficulty with hearing people. Um, I've got to focus. I've got to work, work, work hard. I, I can't hear anything because I've got to. I've got to remain focused. It's easy to work next to a person closely and then we focus. If there's a problem, the manager comes to me and asks me, Simon Kelly, please, we need to do something. Then I understand. We talk. Okay, I move back and. Then I need to go to St. Vincent's to learn sign language. I must learn um, and then I am able to improve and then work together with people who are deaf and improve. Okay. Um, I'm just giving some feedback that Chef Stephen have given me. He was very impressed with your knife skills and the vegetable pure puree you made was perfect. So I'm happy to announce that out of the three people that went for the tests, you, you will be representing the Proteotel Balalaika in the cooking my competition. So well done. So well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you. Today was long. The interview was long, but I feel happy. I have entered into the competition and it was a beautiful dish that I cooked well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, Mam Kelly. Re thutile go tswa go wena gore go fetola kelelo ya hao ke go fetola le fatshe la hao. Le gore bothata bo ona le bona o tlamega go ba karolo ya tharollo. Botso ya rona ya beke ena e tswa go ndududuzo. A re yena o batlana le dipazari tsa mining engineering. Ma haslase nako e se e fitlile ya gore le apply le dipazari. Chakela website ya Bazaris of South Africa. Yona he ena le dipazari tse ngata ya makala a fapaneng. For mining engineering, the company he di batla gore o be le South Africa full academic records o be le pasa o bana le bopaki ba tlhokahalo ya chalete ene o be o se o registerile go se le mo se latelang go bola ra ha so o tetile o tlamega go sebeletsa company eo gore o fumane experience o fumane le mosebetsi ha e ka ba gona le ho sa utlwang go bola o tshekela facebook ka pa website ya rona ke emetse ya haopotso your net is way too big, you need to cut it. I'll cut it, cut it. Get sack over, sack over, sack over. Why do you mean you want to hustle around? It's a cancer, you don't want to hustle. But I'm going to hustle. 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 I'm Lina na rile bata ke dizet Wei ti en khopo san koko a kona ncha pela Custard and jelly gas on ta ha Kira hora hao e kri le Custard and jelly for everybody Hao sa e kri a kira Oe me sigi ni koto lo Better luck next time Wei ti roko pa na kai Our social media and our website And also on YouTube Ba pe tu Ara tlaka nen teng da ribu Ba re di tapa Kisa na fela tisa tlaka nen Rona ba tu Rata tlaka na Beking e tang Erke ito ala kere Don't look down Look up And stay up And always have a plan Have something cool Cooking, cause I'll be cooking in the kitchen. I'll be cooking in the kitchen. See you next week.